Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to layer a guitar part with MIDI instruments in Reaper. Now, the purpose of this tutorial is if you're recording a guitar part, you might want to layer it with some MIDI instruments on top to make it sound more interesting or just to be more creative. So let me show you how to do that. I've already created a guitar track with the input set up where my guitar is plugged into, turn input monitoring on right here, and put some effects on the track. The first effect is Blue Cat's free amp, which is a free plugin offered by them, which recreates a guitar amp. Then I added a delay and a reverb. And if I put it into record, it sounds like this. But now I want to layer this with MIDI. And the way to do that is to add the Reattune plugin. So let's go back to the plugins on the guitar track. And let's add the Reaper plugin right over here called Reattune. Now, typically, this is used to tune vocals, but we could also use it to capture the pitch of a guitar. Let's put it right after the amp, but before the delay and reverb. I find it tracks better when you put it after the guitar amp because it saturates it or compresses it. So now, if I play the guitar, it notices the note I play. A B, a G, or a D. So now we can use this to trigger MIDI instruments. If we go down over here, we could choose Send MIDI Events When Pitch Changes. So we could send that MIDI output to another track. Let's create another track down here. We'll name it MIDI and drag the routing from this track down to this track. Now, by default, it's going to send the audio and the MIDI. We don't need the audio. So let's turn off this part, and it'll just send MIDI. So if we put a MIDI instrument on this track, it's going to trigger it. So let's go to our instruments and choose one. And any VST instrument that we choose is going to work. But I'm going to choose this free one right here, which looks like this. Let's choose a preset. Let's put our guitar track back into record. And now we hear the synth. But it seems to be an octave off. So let's switch it here to be zero, and hear that. And we can balance the two sounds, either from the tracks over here, with the guitar or the synth, or the output on the plugin. And it's going to work with any preset we choose, as long as we trigger one note at a time. Let's try this one. Let's try another. And this one is more of a pad. Let's make it louder. Or bring it up an octave. Let's try another.
but we could also try acquire right down here. Bring up the volume. Let's transpose it an octave. Let's put it back to the previous synth. And let's say we wanted to record this. What we would do is turn off the input on this track to none, turn on input monitoring, and switch this to record output, record output MIDI. And now if we put it into record, it's going to record the MIDI on this track and our audio for the guitar on this track, like this. And just like that, we recorded our guitar part and the MIDI part at the same time. As you can see, there's a few glitches in this part, but we can easily fix them later. But we can re-blend them separately with their volume. And that's pretty much it. That's how you layer a guitar part with MIDI instruments in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.